Hi friends! Today we will learn about LCM, that is least common multiple. So let's start. Let's first revise what we have learned about the factors and multiples and prime factorization. Factors. Factors are the exact divisors of the number. For example, factors of 9 are 1 and 9 itself. Then 3 is also a factor. So the factors are 1, 9, and 3. So 1 and the number itself are always a factor. And the factors of a number are always limited or finite, which means that there is a countable number of factors for a number. And every factor is less than or equal to the given number. Now let's learn about multiples. Multiples of a given number is the number that can be divided by that number. For example, let's see what are the multiples of 9. Multiples of 9 start at 9 itself because the number is always a multiple of itself because 9 times 1 is 9. Now 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54. And there is no limit to the number of multiples for a number. So we can say that multiples of a number are always infinite. And every multiple is greater than or equal to the given number. Now what is factorization and prime factorization? When a number is expressed as a product of its own factors, it is called factorization. For example, 48 can be factorized as 6 times 8, 12 times 4, 2 times 24. Now, let's revise the latter method of finding prime factorization of a number. In the latter method, we divide the number by only prime numbers, starting from the smallest prime number possible, and continue till we get a quotient of 1. So we will start with the smallest prime number. Prime factorization of 48 will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and this all equals 48. Now let's revise the latter method of finding the prime factorization of a number. Now let's revise the latter method of finding the prime factorization of a number. In the latter method, we will divide the number by only prime numbers, starting from the smallest prime number possible and continue till we get a quotient of 1. We will be doing the prime factorization of 36. So start with the smallest prime number possible, which is 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. We write this under 36. So we write 2 again on the left hand side of 18. So we divide 18 by 2. And the answer will be 9. This is written below 18. And then we will find the next prime number which divides into 9. That is 3. So we use 3 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then once again we divide 3 by 3. And finally the quotient will be 1. So the prime factorization of 36 will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. You can check that this equals 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. So prime factorization is 36. So the prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So we have revised what are factors, multiples, what is factorization and what is prime factorization and also the latter method of finding prime factorization. Now let's learn about the LCM, the least common multiple. It is always calculated for two or more numbers. For example, for example, let's find the LCM of 12 and 48. Let's first learn the basic way. 
write out the multiples of 12. The first few multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, etc. Now we have written a few multiples of 12. Next, we need to write out the multiples of 48. The first multiple is 48, then 96, then 144, and so on and so forth. Least common multiple means the first multiple that is common in both of the lists. So we have 48 in the list of 12 and in the list for 48. So 48 is the first multiple or the least common multiple which is common in both the lists. So 48 is the LCM or the LCM of 12 and 48. Now this method quickly becomes very lengthy if we have four or five or more numbers. So if you want to find the LCM of more than four or five numbers, there is another way. Let's learn that. Here we have an example. We need to find the LCM of 20, 30, 15, and 45. So we have to find the LCM of four numbers. Now, what do we have to do? Let's write all these numbers in a row. Now, what is the smallest prime number that can divide into this? This entire process is similar to finding the prime factorization of a number. So in this case, the smallest prime number is 2. So we use 2 to divide into all these numbers. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So write those below 20 and 30. 15 and 45 are not divisible by 2, so you rewrite them. Now, once again, what is the smallest prime number that is divisible into 10, 15, 15, and 45. So we use the number 2 again. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now 15, 15, and 45 are not divisible by 2, so rewrite them. Now, what is the smallest prime number that goes into 5, 15, 15, and 45? In this case, it will not be 2, it will be 3. 15, 15, and 45 are all divisible by 3. 5 is not, so you have to rewrite it. Now, 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5, so write 5 below the two 15s. Now, 45 divided by 3 is equal to 15, so write that below. Now you have 5, 5, 5, and 15. What is the smallest prime number that goes into this? Once again, it will be 3. The three fives are not divisible by 3, so rewrite them. And 15 is divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now you are left with only fives. And 5 is divisible by itself. So write 5. Now that the final quotients are all 1, you have to multiply the prime numbers we got on the left side. And these are 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Find the product. Multiplying 2 with 2 and then 5 is always easier. So we write it as 2 times 2 times 5 times 3 times 3. And now we have used the property of commutativity. We learned that multiplication is commutative. You can write the numbers in any order and the final answer will always be the same. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 5 is 20, then 3 times 3 is 9. So 20 times 9 is equal to 180. So the final answer, or the LCM, of all these four numbers, 20, 30, 15, and 45, is 180. Now, what does it mean that 80 is the LCM, which is the common multiple of all these four numbers? Let's say 20. 9 times 20 is 180. 
30. 6 times 30 is 180. 12 times 15 is 180. And 45 times 4 is 180. So 180 is the least common multiple of 20, 30, 15, and 45. Now let's find the LCM of two more numbers, 15 and 12. What will we be doing? Write 15 and 12 in a row. Now you draw a line below them and one on the side vertically. Now let's take the smallest prime number possible to divide into 15 and 12. The smallest prime number is 2. 15 is not divisible by 2. So you write that below. Now 12 is divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now, what is the smallest prime number that goes into 15 and 6? Once again, it will be 2. So, 15 is not divisible by 2, but 6 is. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and write that below. Now we are left with the numbers 15 and 3. So, take the smallest prime number, 3. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So write that below. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So write that below. Now we are left with 5 and 1. What is the smallest prime number that goes into this? It is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then you carry down the 1 from before. So now we are left with the final quotient of 1 and 1. So we can go ahead and multiply all the numbers on the left hand side. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So, so 2 times 2 is 4. That multiplied by 5 is 20. Then that multiplied by 3 is finally 60. So the LCM will be 60. That is of 15 and 12. And you may have noticed that we use the property of commutativity. That is, I have multiplied 2 by 2 and then 5, and then finally 3. Now let's check. Now let's check our answer. 60 divided by 15 is 4. 60 divided by 12 is 5. Or 15 multiplied by 4 is 60, and 12 times 5 is 60. So now we know how to find the least common multiple using the latter method. Let's have another example. We have to find the LCM of 8, 16, 24, and 32. So let's write all those four numbers and add the lines, one below and one vertical right to the side. So what is the smallest prime number that divides into these four numbers, 8, 16, 24, and 32? It will be the number 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, 16 divided by 2 is 8, 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 32 divided by 2 is 16. Write these four numbers below. Now, what is the smallest prime number that goes into 4, 8, 12, and 16? Once again, the answer is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now we have the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8. Draw another horizontal line underneath that, and divide these four numbers by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Now divide by 2. 1 divided by 2 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 divided by 2 is not possible, so you write the number 3. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Once again, you have to divide by 2. 2 is divisible by 2, so write 1. And 3 is not, so you got 1, 1, 3, 1. Now divide by 3. 
And finally, you get a quotient of 1111. Now we can go ahead and multiply all the numbers on the left hand side. What will this equal? The final answer or the LCM will be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or 96. So 96 is the LCM of 8, 16, 24 and 32. So 96 is the least number which is the multiple of all these four numbers. Now let's have another example. We have to find the LCM of 6, 9, 11, and 24. Now write all these numbers beside each other and draw the lines at the table. What is the smallest prime number that goes into all these four numbers? The answer is 2. 11 is not divisible by 2, so write 11. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 9 is not divisible by 2, so write 9, and then 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now, what is the smallest prime number that goes into these four numbers? 2. Now, again, we use the number 2 because 12 is divisible with 2. Now, 3, 9, 11 are not divisible by 2, so write them below. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now, once again, 6 is divisible by 2, so we use that. 3, 9, 11 are not divisible by 2. So you have to rewrite those numbers. And 6 is, so you get 3. Now, 3 is divisible by 3. So you use a number 3. And you get 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 11 divided by 3 is not possible, so write 11. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now, divide by 3 again. 11 is not divisible by 3, so write 11. And you get 3 divided by 3, which equals 1. So you get 1, 1, 11, and 1. Now divide by 11. So the final quotient will be 1. 1, 1, and 1. Now you can go ahead and multiply all the numbers on the left hand side to find the LCM. So you get 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 11. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 3 is 72. Then that multiplied by 11 gets you 792. So 792 is the LCM of 6, 9, 11, and 24. So friends, we have learned a lot of examples of how to find the LCM.